My name is Sharon Honey, and I'm looking at something. <laughs> I am a tweeny. I'm not a newbie exhibitor, and I'm not a master champion yet. I'm just kind of somewhere in between. This is my sixth year showing poultry, and I'm at a point where I'm trying to help new people get started. So I got a bunch of kids here today, and I kind of been going over uh, last minute grooming tips with them, and. Uh, got a, a lady that is never done a show report so I've been working with her to show her how to do a show report and turn it into the show club so I've had a very busy morning as well as grooming eight birds for show and having a good time I just like showing poultry so I'm here to have a, a fun time today do you have my tea I, I've lost my McDonald's tea I didn't put it in your I was hoping you took it out there to your grooming table, but I never did see it. Hello, whoever you are. <laughs> Ex uh, Exhibition Poultry Magazine. Ah. I have what? You can have my water if you want. No, I'm looking for my tea. Never saw it. You sure you took it out of the truck? I was just in the truck. I didn't see it. I wonder if I put it in the back of the trailer. I don't know. I didn't see it when I was back there, but I wasn't looking for it. Silkies are a very old breed. They're also a very difficult breed to show because they're feather legged. So we have uh, a row over here, two rows, and then a row on the back side. Um, recognized varieties are blue, gray, partridge, splash, white, pink, black. A lot of whites today. Some of these birds are, are capable of going to nationals. There's a really, really nice class of whites. Um, I'm a little partial to this pull it down here on the end. She just happens to be my bird. Young pull it, but this is what I... This is what I like to see in show. It's all over. Squeezing through. Checking my birds to see if they have water. And I'm going to pull my cups. All righty then. Got my cups pulled. I'm going to sit them right down here. I found my tea! <laughs> I'm going to survive. All right, I'm going to look around and check my birds and Check out my people. Did you get a bird from Tony? Trying. Working on it. <laughs> I like your chicken. What kind of chicken is she? She's beautiful. Thank you. I like your hat. Thank you. That's a silky up there. He's showing in, um, what is it when you show your birds? Showmanship. Are you showing showmanship? Have you done it yet? You ready to go? Good luck to you. She's a pretty girl. My favorite color is partridge. Did you know that? She's my favorite color. She's my favorite color. What's her name? Good luck, sissy. Show good. <laughs> I love watching showmanship. <laughs> Oh, 
That's what showing birds is all about right there. Association people. Hello, how are you? I was going to put my ABA booth up and then it dawned on me I'm only the Mississippi rep. This is Louisiana. Oh, yeah. I just need to stay out of hostile territory. Oh, we are all hostile. No, I'm hostile. I'm District 2, Silky Club. Louisiana is District 4. I'm this far from Louisiana. Oh, because we're District 7 in the ABA. District 9 in the ABA for Mississippi. Oh, okay. It gets confusing. Yeah. That is confusing. Yep. I'm being recorded. I see that. Makes you a little nervous. I don't like being recorded. <laughs> Mr. Charles said he could edit out my cuss words, so oh, okay. we're, we're good. That's probably good. <laughs> Tony Beats on Gold Rush. <laughs> can, can you airbrush the face? Shucks. <laughs> this, is, this is what I like about doing poultry shows, though, is the camaraderie. I don't think I can... I've gone... 11 hours from home and still run into people I know, still run into friends. I no longer go to a show barn and walk in a stranger. It's like, hey, everybody, because, you know, you, you make friends and show people. And, and I think all show people are competitive, but when you learn to win gracefully and lose gracefully and you be happy for your friends when they win and, and they're happy for you when they win, it's just a, a really, really fun time for everybody. And so... Uh, I'm here competing against some of the top exhibitors today, and I, I hope I win my class, but if I don't, I'll be like. That's it, and I am good at talking. <laughs> I have mastered that technique well. That reminds me, I booked some sales spots that sold out of birds. I was going to turn my sales spots over to somebody else. I'm going to go check to see if they still want them. That sounds like me. <laughs> Don't see him. I saw her five minutes ago, but no. Tony Davis, leave that alone. What color are you looking for? Dark or white? I have some darker birds that are good for beginners because they're easier to keep clean. So can I get a bird from you whenever you get more? I'm, I got partridges for sale right now, which is a brown bird. No, don't frown till you look at them. <laughs> There's mom. Where do you think my partridges came from? This is this is a partridge. And can I take her out? A partridge is the color of dirt and poop, which is an excellent beginner bird. If you're going to show and you're just getting started, black and brown are the easiest colors to work with because you don't have to worry about the stain and, and, and discoloration and all that. Puppy head and a fairly short back. You can see this bird. She shows, she shows well. How old? About three or four months. I did. She's a baby baby. I would go with a female. But, you know, I've, I've raised birds for six months, swore up and down that they were girls, and then they bailed out a crow. Or lay an egg. 
and I'll pull all my pullets and put them into, I mean, my cockles and put them into a, uh, a bachelor pen, mm -hmm. and it never fails. I'll go in there a month or two later and go, that's a female. <laughs> And I love, I love taking girls out of my boy pen. Right. Yep. Looking at blue, this color here and here is what you want in a blue. Notice that the top of the bird is much darker, and as you come backwards, it fades to a lighter color. This is the ideal color for blue. This bird, even though I bred both of these, is really too dark. You want dark head that looks almost black, light underfluff, light backside. Love the color of these two blues right here. But with any breed, you work. You work, you work, you work, you work. Right. Hey, Mom. <laughs> How are we? I'm freezing. <laughs> you been working hard? I was tickled to hear Lauren was going to be here today. I didn't realize how close to home. No, this is a <laughs> four and a half hours for me. But I left at 9.30 in the morning. Y'all left late, I saw. Well, it's better than Knoxville. Y'all going to Perry? Uh -huh. You going to Perry? That's your long trip. How far is it? For me, it's eight and a half hours. Oh, wow. And you're four hours from me, so about four and a half. Maybe a slide closer. Uh, you go through about, Montgomery. That's about the same. How far are you from Montgomery? About two hours. So it's three and a half from Montgomery. So five and a half, about like this one. To me, that's doable. It's gonna be at almost a nine hour haul for me and I'm pulling the 12 foot trailer. <laughs> what we do for shows. Feather leg always seems to be judged late in the day. The feather leg class, so. We wait, we wait, we wait. <laughs> you want to do a little talking for our exhibition poultry magazine? Listen to this. Hey, Charles, how are you today? I'm getting paid zero dollars and zero cents to do this. Oh, okay. I just run my mouth a lot. Hey, you're good at that. <laughs> Blue Ribbon winner there. I, I got to clerk for Ben Porter in Columbia, Mississippi. I think last year, or the year before last. Last year, year before, I think it was last and year. And we had a good time. I always have a good time. Because I was running people out of your aisle saying, the judge is judging, clear the aisle, clear the aisle. <laughs> but Ben told me a lot about other breeds that I didn't know anything about. And you were good at that. And I'm like, okay, I'm not retaining any of this, but. <laughs> but we did all the waterfowl all the large fowl, and I think we did the moderns, and we did, a, we did a lot of birds that day. And we hung with it for, for pretty much well into the afternoon. You just keep pushing. And I, you judged and I wrote, and you judged and I wrote. <laughs> but that's how I met Ben Porter, clerking for him at a poultry show. Good judge. Thank you, ma'am. Even though I didn't win championship that day. Yeah. That's the way it happens. <laughs> there's, there's, only, there's very few winners and a lot of first place losers every day. That's what I try to tell new people. There's a whole lot of people not winning the top spots and there is people that do. But you go and you have a good time and bring your best birds. I've, I've been at this since I was 13 years old. When I started that was like a week ago, right? That's been 50 here. some years ago. Now. Wow. But, there's people that I have known in poultry fancy that I have known for 50 years. There's, there's, there's a lot of them that are no longer here, but those are the memories that you never forget. And you learn from the old timers. I've learned more from the seniors than I do any of these 
social media one night wonders. 90 day experts. That's it. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Ben. Oh, uh, thank you.